opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. Everything. Everything that the Chennai Super Kings does, much like the Mumbai Indians do, tends to attract attention. Whether it's the retentions, whether it's the exits, the new buys, the loyalties, are they going to get the old players out? Are they going to refresh the side? There's always a lot of chatter, there's always a lot of talk analysis around what the Chennai Super Kings do. So what have CSK done? First, let's look at, at their retentions and what was what the overwhelming discussion in recent years around CSK has been. Everyone's saying, look, it's an old side. Yes, they had a bad 2020. They won 18, almost won 19. They came back in 21. So there's there's a lot happening around Chennai Super Kings. The good players are still playing well. But can they play well another three years? The only player they have let go is Suresh Raina. And that's a story in itself. I don't know what the story in there is, whether they just think his time has come. Because he was, of course, the Chinna Thalai, wasn't he? Now, they've gone and got back all the core of the side that they had. They, of course, retained Dhoni and Jadeja. But they've gone back and in some cases at a very good price. They went back and they picked Robin Utapa. They picked Dwayne Bravo. They picked Ambati Raidu, Deepak Char, how much of him is, him is going to be available, you don't know. So let's look at what they've got together now as a side because I think there's a couple of issues with Chennai Super Kings and of course there's many strengths as they normally are. They retain Dhoni. I think that's an emotional decision. For the last couple of years, Dhoni's not been the batsman that Dhoni has been. And so now they've got to figure out, does Dhoni come in and just go and play a basher's role of the order? Does, do you take what you get from him as a finisher? Does he only bat when required? Because Ravinder Jadija has really stepped up as a finisher. So Dhoni is that little floater. And in some ways, Dhoni is affecting the balance of the side, but not in the manner that Deepak Chahar is. I think they spent a lot of money on Deepak Chahar because they expected him to bat up the order, even bat at seven in some games because I think his batting has come on by leaps and bounds. It was CSK that, that discovered his batting and pushed him up. But no Deepak Chahar and that leaves a king-sized hole in that balance. They're hoping that he'll come back at some point. If he does and he's able to deliver, wow, it just changes the balance completely. But let's see what happens now when Deepak Chahar doesn't play. Deepak Chahar doesn't play, they could probably replace him with a Shivam Dube. But Shivam Dube is going to give you a couple of overs, a powerful batting, left-hander end, but a couple of overs and he's not going to give you power play overs. So if you want power play overs, you've got Bravo, you've got Jordan, they're not giving you power play overs, they're giving you death pullers, then they've got to play Adam Mill. But if you play Bravo, Jordan, Adam Mill, all of them, then suddenly there's no room for Devon Conway. They want Devon Conway to do well because Conway is the replacement for the very emotional exit of Faf Duplessis, Faf of CSK. Faf breathed CSK, but the fans loved Faf. He gave them a 600 plus season. And you actually thought, suppose Dhoni has to miss a few games in between for some reason, then Faf can be your captain. But there's been an emotional exit. They said, right, Conway. But Conway is so CSK in the way he plays, isn't it? He's also giving you wicket. He can also keep wickets. If, if required for, for whatever reason. But to play Conway, you need an Indian pace bowler down. With Deepak Chahar, you could still have managed that. Can K. Masif be that player? Can they get young Hunger Gekar to play? In which case, you can leave out maybe Shivam Dube, Dhoni bats at six and they play Hunger Gekar and then they can play Conway. But you see how, all, how the absence of Chahar has had a cascading effect on everything else. So, let's see what their first 11 looks like. Rituraj Gaikwad. They need him to have a big season. He's had the, 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 a fabulous one last year, 600 runs, uh, tail end of the previous season too. Rituraj Gaikwad, who does he open the batting with? I'm assuming they want to play Mill. So, I've, I've said, okay, Robin Utapa at the top of the order. Now, who, who bats three? It's very tempting to play Moin Ali at three. But in the middle order, he's such a marauder. He destroys spin. You can actually say Moin the middle in mid-innings marauder. So, I'd like to see uh, Ambati Raidu. They paid a lot of money for Ambati Raidu. He's so versatile. So, Ambati Raidu at three 
Moin Ali at four, Jadeja at five. Maybe that's two left-handers coming to, uh, too close to each other, especially with Shivam Dubey in my side as well. That's a lot of left-handers in the top uh, top order. Maybe Dhoni will slip in in between. So that's what the top order would look like. Then what do you have? You've got Bravo, Jordan, Milne, and Asif. In so Milne, you could play Tikshana. Straight away, you'll notice that they've got Jadeja, they've got some Moin Ali to bowl spin. But outside of these two, they've got only one spinner in uh, the leggy Prashant Solanki. So, they want the finger spin to do really well. They don't want to have too much trouble with the spin. They could play Tikshana. Uh, again, you see, if they had Chahar available, one more new ball bowler, they could have played Tikshana. Uh, instead of Bill, they could still do that because Tikshana is a very good power play bowler. And he can, uh, he, can, he can maybe give you three overs up front. Now, let's look at an alternate left. If they want to play Conway, then how does the team uh, balance itself out? I think the way to go about it is to have Conway opening with Gaikwad. I think they like playing that side, Conway in as a replacement for Faf. Gaikwad, Conway, Utapa, Moin, Jadeja, then Raidu playing a different role down at 6. Why not Raidu 5, Jadeja 6? Depends if you want to split up the left-right combination. You can have Moin, then Raidu, then Jadeja. Uh, so, there, there's a top 6 there. You've got Jadeja and Moin in there. Then you've got Dhoni at 7. Now you've got Bravo and Milne or Tikshana, but I think Milne, given that uh, in this lineup you will not be playing Chris Jordan. You want someone like a Hunger Gaker to come in and you've got K. Masif. Now K. Masif normally plays a, a game or two for them. Now suddenly in the absence of Char, he's got to stand up. Otherwise, Tushar Deshpande has got to come and go. So you see what I'm getting at with, with CSK. In the absence of Chahar, they've got this big hole. They've got to do all these adjustments around. The first team still looks very good. The big pluses for them are Moin Ali will win you games with the bat if he's in form. Jadeja will win you games with the bat. He'll, uh, they've got two uh, uh, bowling options in the top six. They want to play Conway. I think they'd like to go in with that second option, but uh, slightly unsettled. Then that's what Tony is is all about, isn't it? He takes the sum of the parts and he always makes it larger than the whole. But I think this year, in the absence of Chahar, Dhoni won't have as many strings as he normally has to pull. And I think it's going to demand a lot of Dhoni, the captain as well. If Dhoni, the batsman, can deliver three or four games for them, then it makes a huge difference. One thing you will know with Dhoni is that he will come prepared and he will be fit. But whether a 41-year-old body can keep him going, we'll have to wait and see. So. Uh, are they as strong as they were last year? Not quite, given that they're, they're without FAF. That was a championship winning side. So, wait and see. You want the CSK of 21, not the CSK of 20, right? But they could go either way with this side. So, watch CSK very closely.